Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my thought, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better me. This year has the guy that's really making a noise. He's gonna get the thunder on the scoreboard first. And Shea comes down to rip away that rebound. Shea goes right by Holiday. Got to the wall, puts it up with the lollipop layup and scores. And Wiggins will let SGA operate the offense. Stops on a dive, holds up. And that is so silky smooth and almost impossible to defend. Or looking behind him to make sure that he wasn't going to lose possession as Shea goes right around Brown, left hand, nice finish. Another great drive from SGA. Playing with those misses. Very few defensive breakdowns. Oh, Shea once again, too much speed. Goes right by Holiday again. Oh, it's Mozingas, missed time to follow. Two on one, Giddy dumps it off. Shea's got the easy jam. Aaron Wiggins is coming to the game midway through this third quarter. Shane with a misdirection. So easy. Drives his way up right to the cup. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Rotation. He's deadly. He's got that quick release like those times. And there is the response. Three on the other end. SGA. He might have gotten the block. Forced to the miss a little. Close in shot. There's Shane's shot. Right on that baseline. Had the height advantage over Derek White. He's water. The entire possession ended up missing. A shame went for the two for one. <sighs> yes, yeah, I see what I'm repping. You know, despite our loss, you know, still road tied no matter what. But obviously, we're not going to be talking about this, that in this video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the OKC Thunder. Personally, they're my favorite team to watch. And in my opinion, they're the most exciting team and the most dangerous team in the NBA. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about why the OKC Thunder are the most dangerous team in the NBA. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, and back in you with another video. So, last night, the OKC Thunder just beat the, you know, the best team in the East so far, the Boston Celtics. And at, on their home floor, they had a big lead the whole game. And then Boston had a, a, a rising comeback. It was cut the lead to like around three points. But OKC prevailed. And y'all seen that clip earlier. SGA is unstoppable. The dude is unguardable. Listen, this dude can get to his spot anytime he wants to. It don't matter who is guarding him. You've seen everybody try to try to get that lick at him. Everybody try to defend him. Everybody. Everybody on the Boston Celtics roster. The starting roster. Where it was Derek White. Where it was Jalen Brown. Where it was Jason Tatum. Al Horford. Like, it didn't matter. He was going to get to his spot. Dribble left. Pull up. Step back. Pull up. Dribble all the way to the basket, left hand. Dribble to the right, pull up. Dribble, hop step, free throw line. Didn't matter. He's gonna get to his spot, and it's not. That's just why he's is a superstar. He's a superstar in his league, all NBA. He's going to do his thing, right? But let's talk about the rest of his team. Chet, say what y'all want about Wimby. Chet is the rookie of the year right now, and offensively he is potent. He's going to. Get, he's another player who's going to shoot the three ball at will. Who's going to dribble left, maybe step back on you with his size, use his size as advantage, and get buckets and defend at the high level. That's who Chet is, and he's just getting started. Just getting started. Listen, let me take me this hat off real quick. Roll time, by the way. Chet is coming. He's coming for Wimby. I believe he probably will actually win with the year how it's going right now. Honestly. Let's talk about the rest of the team. J Dub. You know what J Dub reminds me of? The person he just played against. A young Jalen Brown. 
He's a slasher. He's going to get to the rim. He can shoot the three ball. He can defend. He's a dog. Everybody on his team is young, but old souls. This seems like they've been here before. Everybody on this young team, even the coach. And the coach doesn't even really get much credit, but he's been doing an amazing job for this team. They are second in the West right now. Second. Behind the Minnesota Timberwolves, which they beat on their home floor. This OKC team, are they ready to compete in the playoffs? Are they ready to contend? We have to see. I'm not going to say, oh, they, they're a piece of way. We don't know. We don't know what's the capable of because the rest of the league is all over the place. Right? And everybody's talking about, oh, Sacramento has the loudest crowd. Oh, Golden State, this and that. Remember when OKC was in the playoffs versus Kobe? When they was in the playoffs, gets to the Spurs every year. That crowd was electric with KD, Westbrook, James Harden. They are the same crowd. This crowd, you don't want to play at OKC. This is why teams are losing in OKC. Even Boston, even Minnesota. You can't win in OKC. That crowd is electric. And they, they, the players, they feed up that crowd. Obviously, Shea. Obviously, check. Obviously, Dave J Dub. You got Isaiah Joe coming up to base, giving you easy three ball, easy three ball buckets. This team is dangerous, and they're exciting. They're fourth best in scoring in the league. Now, what they need approval? Obviously, rebounding. They're too small, in my opinion. They need to get. They need honestly. If they can somehow try to get Andre Drummond. Maybe in a trade or something. I don't know who they would trade because honestly, that I've been hearing that, you know, Andre Drummond's on the market. But if I'm if I'm okay, see, I'm keeping this team. I'm keeping everybody on this team right now. Everybody's young. Everybody's developing. So I feel like they their defensive coach needs to really develop them to really rebound the ball and crash the glass and have them running back and forth crashing the glass because that's what they really need to prove. They're 28th in rebounding. They're terrible. They don't rebound the ball. But they do defend. They get buckets. They look like they want the moments. Obviously, Shea does, especially. They're not afraid of nobody. They don't care who they go up against. Hey, OKC can be anybody. Come to playoffs right now, they'll be they can be anybody. I wouldn't want to play them. I mean, if I if I'm the best team in the league and I'm facing that team, GG. Because Shea's gonna get his buckets. Chet's gonna do his thing defensively. What what shot are you gonna put up against him? J dub is gonna be the X factor. I believe he's the X factor on his team. And let's not give about a little door. Who can defend the high level? Who can knock down a three when he wants to? This team looks complete. This team feeds off each other. And they pass the ball. They are unselfish. They look like they got a lot of chemistry. They play as a team. It's not just Shea getting all the buckets. No, everybody else is getting theirs. OKC is the most dangerous team to lead, in my opinion. And... If they keep going like this, they might end up number one seed in the West and might run the table. To be continued. That's all I got to say for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Give me 2,000 subscribers eventually. And I appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. It's been Bo Will, and I'm out.